Welcome to my channel, this time I will show you how to create animated textures, specifically for facial animations. This technique uses a controller for easy keyframe placement. This can be easily created using only the default Blender tools, no add-ons are required for this. I have two different techniques for animating facial textures, but I'll focus on one in this video. You can find the other technique in a separate video. And just like you can see here, even when rotating the controller, it still worked perfectly. Here is all the texture I will use on this tutorial. As usually, you can download free stuff from my video. In this video, all the texture files I used all free to download and the link will be in the description below. I will start from this untextured mesh. This model also free to download but in separate video. If you interesting you can watch my other video to get the base mesh and hair mesh from there. I have attached the link in the description below as well. I use EV render engine here. We'll start by creating a base texture for the mesh. This will be used as the skin texture for the whole body, except for the face, which will have its own texture. Add diffuse BSDF node. Add shader to RGB node. Then add color ramp node. Connected them one by one. Let's adjust the color ramp color, select a skin color. The shader type we're using is intended for anime or cartoon styles. Adjust it slowly until you're satisfied with the result. Remember to set the constant type. Each color should have a different shade or tint to differentiate them. Now let's add image texture node here. Create one more diffuse BSDF node. Create a mix shader node here. Connect them in the correct order like this. Load the texture map with skin base color. I can adjust the color ramp values freely, but I prefer to keep them balanced. I'm going to tidy up this set of skin textures and hit Ctrl plus J to frame them, making them easier to manage. Next, let's create a second texture slot that will be used for the face. I choose skin texture and click the number to create new single material. Create image texture node and diffuse BSDF node. Connect them for a while. I will input the first expression in image texture here. Then I create new UV map slot here. Named it facial. Go to shader editor. Create UV map node. Input the facial UV map into this UV map node. Next I need to apply the face material to the mesh. I already have this mark seam here so I will just Ctrl plus L to select this face and assign the face material. Open UV editor. This is on second slot UV map. Unwrap it with project from front view. For every unwrap modification make here. It won't give any effect on first slot UV map. Make a rough adjustment for now, as this is only temporary and will be corrected later. Open Shader Editor. Create a Mix Shader node. The alpha of PNG will be settled on this Mix Shader. Connect the Skin Texture on first slot, and Facial Texture on second slot. Use image texture alpha connected to mix shader factor. And now we can see the faces appear correctly now. I adjust the UV one more time. I will input three others facial texture. I duplicate this set into total of four set facial texture. 
load the texture one by one on each image texture node. And connect this UV map node to each image texture node here. Connected the skin texture to each first slot of mix shader node as well. Create three new mix shader nodes. Connected them like this. Press Shift plus Control plus left click to auto input directly into output node. If I adjust the value here, it will switch the face texture 1 to face texture 2 and vice versa. Add a map node. Connect it to the mix shader factor and choose type greater than. It's easier to set facial changes using this value now. Now, connect the mix shader nodes in this order. Duplicate the math nodes into three nodes. And connect each math node into each mix shader node. Please pay attention to all math node threshold value. Every math node must have its own threshold value. This is my own formula of 4 set face expression. I input 0.250 on first math node, 0.500 for second, and 0.75 for last math node. Create a value node. Connect it to each math node value slot and all math node value will be represented by this single value now. Now this is how it works. Face 1 will appear at the value under 0.250. Face 2 will appear at the value between 0.250 to 0.500. Face 3 will appear at the value between 0.500 to 0.750. Face 4 will appear at the value greater than 0.750. All this system is created according to threshold value I set before. Next, I will create the controller. Make sure 3D cursor is at center every axis, or if not you can easily press Shift plus C to make it. Create an empty, it can be any shape you want. Make sure the scale of the empty is 1 on each axis. If not you can press Ctrl plus A and select scale to reset its scale to 1 on each axis. Give the empty limit location constraint. For now, I will only activate its z-axis and set maximum z-axis value as 1. The math node will use this limit value 0 to 1 as boundaries value limit. lock X and Y location axis of empty for now. Select local space, and checkbox this effect transform. Now the empty location only can move between range 0 to 1. This range value also represent value in the value node later. On the value node, make sure the start value is 0.00 then right click, choose add driver. On object pick the empty. Right-click and edit the driver. Select the type, Z location. Select space, local space. Now, the value at value node is linked to Z location point. Create a plane. Set the plane size to 1. Rotate it along x-axis 90 degree. Select bottom edge of the plane and press Shift plus S. Choose cursor to select it. Set origin of the plane to 3D cursor. And input the plane Z location to 0.
add some subdivide like this. Feel free to modify the shape as you want, the plane is only a visual reference for the empty controller. Now, the bottom of the plane is at zero, and the top aligns with the maximum limit constraint value of the empty. Let's unwrap the plane. Create a new material and put it into the plans. Go to Shader Editor. Create an image texture node here and connect it to principal BSDF node. Choose the 4 set face texture into the image texture. Go to UV Editor. Press Z and switch to Material Preview. Load the image texture here as well. Adjust the plain UV map manually. This plane will serve as visual reference only for the controller, so whatever image you put on here won't affect the face texture. At this stage, it actually has been done if you only use the Z-axis for control and apply multiple textures along the Z-axis, but on next stage one will show you how to add one more axis to control. It also works with animation keyframes as well. Select the empty then parent it to plane. As a result, the empty now will move in sync with the plane, and leave the face textures remaining unaffected. This is perfect as controller. In the next step, we will go deeper by adding one more axis. Clean up some changes until the plane sitting on zero value of Z-axis location. Go back to Shader Editor. I will add four more face texture, but before that, I will slightly tidy up these shader nodes to make them more easier to manage and have better looks. Select all of these nodes, and frame its by Ctrl plus J. Duplicate the frames and drag to the bottom. Connect the facial UV map node into each new image texture node. Add face 5, 6, 7 and 8 into each new image texture nodes. I select skin texture mix shader output and temporarily move it here. So I can be easier to connect it into the inputs. Once it's done, I moved it back. Move the value nodes with existing drivers to the center and plug it into the inputs of all new map nodes. Remember, this first value node control along Z-axis. Create a mix shader one more and this is will be last mix shader in this tutorial. Connected them like this. Create last math node with greater than type as well. Connect it to the last mix shader factor. Create value node as well and this one will be control along x axis. I forget to clean up the keyframes. Unlock empty's x axis location. Go to constraint and checkbox the minimum and maximum of x axis as well. Place the controller on the right border of the plane. Remember the X value of the location. The X location value here is 0.188 but I will round it down to 0.185 for simplicity. Input the 0.185 value into the last math node's threshold. 
shift the controller and estimate where the rightmost boundary will be. I got the value with rounded up to 0 0.500. Input this 0 0.5 into maximum limit of x-axis on constraints tab. Now the controller have limited range correctly. Expand the plane to right side. Now, time to use 8 set face JPEG files. Adjust the plane UV once again. Go to UV editor. Load the image texture here as well. If we see here, it still have not worked properly. But don't worry. This is because I haven't add the driver into second value node. So let's add second driver on second value node with same way just like before. I'm leaving the X location unchanged here. Now it's all done. Don't forget to parent the controller to the plane if you haven't already. It's worked perfectly now and ready to use. I still have second different technique to animate facial texture in different video. May takes around one or two week to publish after this video publish. So stay tuned and subscribe and like my video for more content in the future. Thank you for watching.